Let's spend a few minutes to talk about kerf. Kerf is a simple term for a simple idea, and I can explain it by using a blade that's not in a saw. This rule will apply for any saw with any blade, whether that's a spinning blade, reciprocating blade, whatever. Every blade has a thickness to it, and your kerf is going to be the exact width of your blade. As that blade is spinning or moving through the material, it's cutting a slot. And if you ever wondered where sawdust came from, it is what is produced from this blade moving through this material. It turns that material into dust, and what you're left with is this slot, which we call kerf. So I have here three scribed lines. Imagine that I want to cut this board at each one of these lines. I'll start with this one, and we're measuring all of these from this end down here. So if I pull this tape measure out, I have a uh, mark at 12 inches. I want a board that's exactly 12 inches long. So now that I have scribed my line, now all I have to do is to align my blade, considering my kerf to make that accurate length by the time I'm done. As you see here, this blade, as it's passing through this material, has cut a uh, kerf that is on the wrong side of the line. So now my board, once it's cut, is going to be short by the width of that kerf or the width of the blade. If I measured my next uh, line here, it measures to nine inches. I want this piece to be exactly nine inches. So once again, I have to align my blade and consider my kerf when I'm doing that. Well, I didn't do so good this time either because my kerf now, although I'm doing better than I did over here, my kerf is dividing that line in half. So now when I measure this board out, once I'm done cutting it, I'm not at nine inches, I am short by half of the width of this blade. So let's try this one more time. I've got one more cut I want to make here, and this cut is going to be 5 and 15 sixteenths. That's my goal. And I've aligned my blade properly this time with one edge of that slot, or one edge of the blade, right along that scribed line, which puts the entire width of my kerf on the side of the board that doesn't matter or my scrap side. So this alignment is going to give me the most accurate cut. So I've measured accurately, I've marked accurately, now I have to align my blade to produce that accurate piece at the end. It is as important as all of the other steps that came before. Here's a quick trick so you can always remember and place your blade on the right side of the line. So we're always keeping in mind the length of the board. And when we go to measure that board, we're going to pull our tape, we're going to scribe our line. At that moment, it's very clear in your head which part you're keeping and which part you're not keeping. We're gonna call this side the scrap. We're going to mark it with an X. That is a simple way we can carry this board around the block and come back and we won't forget which side of the board we wanna keep. So now when we go to put our uh, piece of material on the saw and cut it, we're going to align our blade always on the scrap side. If we move the blade on that side, it's going to put the kerf on that side, and now we can get our accurate cut right on our scribed line.